Well, hi there, racing fans and all those Interbet fans amongst you. Uh, let's go through the podcast for Gravel. And this is the 6th of October, Sunday. We're on the turf, 22 pentrometer. The turf it looks absolutely magnificent. Got a four meter false rail, which is going to affect the horses that are drawn wide. And there's some very big fields. We kick off with the barrier trial at 10 past 12. And a uh, very nice barrier trial. Interesting to see a well-named horse. Happy wife, happy life. Looking forward to see how that goes, um, because that's very true. Interesting to watch the All Blacks playing Namibia today, and uh, Namibia played brilliantly. Never kicked the ball away, held onto the ball, and got beaten by 10 tries, but they showed how to play rugby against the All Blacks. And if the Springboks would take a bit of note of that, we might be able to beat them quite convincingly in the World Club. Let's go race one, quarter to one, 1245, 1200 meters. And the favorite here is Johann Janser van Rensburg's uh, Duke of York, well-drawn two, with uh, Stewie Randolph aboard it. And the second favorite's the uh, other one from the Johann Janser van Rensburg stable, drawn one. Magnificus. So he drew one and two in a big field. That's very good for him. He also has Olmerka Black, but that's obviously not fancied. What can win it? Ignore Stanton Street's last run. This will run well. I expect him to go close. Fred ran a very good barrier trial. Have a close look at this horse on his barrier trial. He can run well in this race. And Orchard Street comes from Joburg, but Waiho Mowing uh, led us down on Friday night with a hot favorite that ran absolutely motherless nowhere. So that doesn't look good for the Mowing stable, but we've got to keep an eye on them. Let's go to race two, 1400 meter maiden plate. And uh, it's a very interesting race this indeed, because uh, Brass Bell, I fancied last time, and it just got beaten. It actually ran on really well and just got beaten. Um, I'm not sure that Brass Bell might not be the right horse in this race. So I'm going to see if I, my recorder is working here. I'm not sure if it is. Yes, it is. We're still recording, which is great. And um, let's go and see what else there is in the race. On the bayou, Lav says he's going to go to the front with this one, with Stratum aboard it. You know how tough it is to get past Stratum from the front? Got to have a big chance. The favorite is Lundy's Lad, Keegan DeMello for the Dean Canamar stable. And this ran on extremely well last time, uh, Lundy's Lad. This is his second run after a rest, but he's well course and distance suited, and he's a nice horse. I expect him to run well, but I don't think that there's any value in him at all. Um, anomaly, uh, the barrier trial was fair. Remember, it's a K.T. Perry form, and we're going to be watching that throughout the day. Baby shoes drawn 15, 16. That's going to be a problem for Donovan Dillon, and that's his big problem. And of the rest, there are a number of horses that got chance. I think it's a very difficult first leg of your uh, bipod. Race uh, three. Actually, it was a place accumulator. First leg of the bipod race one. Race three. Maiden plate. Phillies and mares, they go 1,600 meters. And um, Anna Berg's your favorite, and I expect this filly to win. Luke Ferraris with the blinkers, huge, huge runner. What can beat it? Well, the unknown quantity is Bluebell Girl. Very, very good barrier trial. She ran in the Katy Perry barrier trial. I'm taking a lot of note of that barrier trial. I think it's a good barrier trial. The danger of the horses that have raced is Galway Girl. So I make it an absolute two-horse race between Anna Berg and Galway Girl. Shoot the wagon didn't run badly last time, hit the front and stopped, probably uh, needed the run uh, and could improve as well. Drawn four, um, Keegan DeMello gets to ride it. It's very interesting that Veal doesn't ride it. He rode it last time and he's riding now just to it for Cotson. Um, so they've done musical chairs as far as the riders are concerned in this race, but I do make it a two horse race. Race four, Pinnacle Stakes, they go 1,600 meters, lovely race. Camferrat is the right horse. If she's fit, if she's well, she should be able to win it. Donovan Dillon gets a ride from Gareth Wright, which is quite interesting. Laf's got two good runners in the race, Dog Moon Rising and Arcoise. Arcoise has got 51 kilos with Warren Kennedy drawn one. Huge runner, lots to like about it, but it is second run after a rest. What of the rest of them? Tristful's a very nice horse, and I think he's going back to his right trip and his right course. Regal Graduation got some sort of form and should be there or thereabouts. So I'm putting all five of those in. Race five. 
75 fillies and mares, they go 2,000 meters. And um, I think that uh, Princess Analia is the right horse here. If you look at the form, the favorite uh, Orient Express beat her and meeting her on three kilos worse terms. She only beat her less than a length. And I think that this filly is a huge, huge runner. Luke Ferraris gets a ride on her. She's seven to one. She'll run very well. The two Ditma runners both go into the play. Silver Prancer, 14 to one. Don't leave this out of your play. Gets the blinkers again and certainly loves the grass much better there. The favorite Orient Express, got to be running on strongly from behind. Worth putting into your play as well. And Zagara, I wouldn't leave her out of anything. Pierce Stradham jumps aboard that and uh, she's got some decent form. Race six, Mary rated 94, 2,200 meters. And I like Laf's horse here, White Lightning, 10 to one. Keegan DeMello rides it. This horse runs on well, needs a pace. And his first run, he looked like he patently needed it. Um, he didn't get the best of runs in the race and I expect him to improve quite a lot. If you look at his, um, his uh, profile, he should go extremely well here. Pollard, uh, second run as well. Ferraris rides it. Got to have a chance. Impact Zone's always there or thereabouts. He's always running the money. Zanzibarin's your favorite and obviously hard to beat. So I'm actually going to put two horses in the pick six. Zanzibarin and White Lightning. Race seven. Pinnacle Stakes, 1,200 meters. You've got the eight to ten shot uh, Ultra Magnus here. He's up against it. The way the weights are set up for this race, Wayne Calder is the right horse. Uh, he runs well after arrest this horse. He's well drawn at three. He goes well for Veal. He's won two of his starts for Veal. He's, um, everything is in the right place for him. And he doesn't have to give away much weight. The best horse in the race is Sniper Shot. I expect him to go well. La Bella Mia is well held by Van Calder on the run when um, she beat Van Calder. And she should have no chance of beating him this time. So I'm going against the hot favorite. Uh, Graham Hawkins won't be happy with me, but there you go. That's the way I see it. And I'm going with Van Kelder. Got to put both of them in the pick sixer. Race eight, mirror rated 85, 1200 meters. And I'm going strongly with shareholder. I th thought this horse is a very, very good horse indeed. I think that if he's over his problems, he should be able to win it. And this is a great race for him to start. What can beat him? Well, I can't see much. Winter Chills obviously got ability and gets uh, Luke Ferraris. I think Magudwe won on him and has now gone on holiday because he's got all the cash. So that's him out of the picture. So Luke Ferraris gets the right. Graduate's a big runner. This is the big danger graduate. He'll be perfectly course and distance suited and expect him to run well. Right, let's have a look what we think as far as the card's concerned. Well, I really like... Um, uh, Shareholder in the last. If he runs to his ability, he should doddle it. What are the rest of them? I'm going race two. I'm going a nice each way shot in race two, and I think it should run extremely well here. Brass Bell, nine to two. Should be running on best. Could easily end up the winner. From me, James Goodman, the whole Interbet crew, have a great day's racing at Gravel.